Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Today I'm making my predictions for the 32nd installment of SummerSlam. As of this recording for the 2019 edition of SummerSlam, there are 10 matches listed on the card, which for a big show, this is pretty low for them, which hopefully they'll keep it, but knowing how WWE will be, we'll get 3 or 4 matches just added randomly, and we'll get some 24-7 stuff, so maybe they won't add any more matches, but so far 10, which I think is alright, still think it's too many and the show's gonna be really long, but 10 for a long, huge WWE show, this is good enough, and we'll probably probably have 14 by the end where they add some random matches that we didn't even see coming. So now we'll get on to my predictions for the 2019 edition of SummerSlam. So we'll start things off for the United States Championship and it'll be AJ Styles defending the title against Ricochet. With this being a rematch from last month's Extreme Rules, I see the same result happening here where AJ Styles retains his United States Championship. With Gallows and Anderson more than likely being out there to help AJ, I think does the odds will be too much to overcome for Ricochet and AJ will keep the title. I can see this feud taking a month break where AJ defends the US title at Clash of Champions against a someone random before reuniting against Ricochet where it's in a gimmick match. Maybe a Hell in a Cell or a Steel Cage if they're still doing a Hell in a Cell this year. I can see this being one of the matches. Where Gals and Anderson are locked out of there and then Ricochet can beat AJ that way. So where the odds were even and Ricochet was the better man in that match. So now we'll move on to match number two. And that'll be for the SmackDown Women's Championship and we'll see Bayley defending the title against Ember Moon. With Bayley starting this whole new run where her being the SmackDown Women's Champion and she wants to elevate the division giving other people chances at the title. I see Bailey getting the win here and retaining the SmackDown Women's Championship. With there being so many faces on SmackDown that could be in line for title shots, I feel like Ember Moon winning here will just put a halt to that. And Bailey winning will just throw the new faces up there. Whenever Liv Morgan gets her whole new thing that she was doing, she'll have a chance probably. If Andy Rose and Sonya Deville split off and go for singles, they can have a chance at the title. Maybe the Iconics each get a chance. I don't think anyone would be mad if Asuka reunited her feud against Bailey, and if Kyrie Sane got a chance if that match would happen. I don't think anyone would be mad if any of those happened. So I think Bailey retains and goes on to new people and just keeps on going with this SmackDown Women's Championship. So now on to match number three. And that match will feature Finn Balor taking on the returning Bray Wyatt. With this being Bray Wyatt's return and his whole new character's first match, he's obviously getting the win here for me. And with Finn Balor supposedly heading off, taking time off in like a month or so, this will be Finn's way out where he just gets demolished by Bray and Bray just goes on a new Terry starts ripping up faces left and right maybe gets a couple legends matches as we've seen him attack Kurt Angle and Mick Foley in the past so maybe that will be where this new character goes so now on to match number four and this match will be Kofi Kingston defending the WWE Championship against Randy Orton everyone just keeps wondering when WWE is going to pull the plug on the Cinderella run from Kofi and take the WWE Championship here and I don't think Randy Orton will be that guy I think Kofi retains the title here and gets revenge from the whole thing in 2009 I see Kofi holding on to this for a long 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 time i i think they're gonna do the roman match once they figure out who's trying to get roman reigns here and knowing wwe they could pull the trigger then to switch and put kofi have him lose to roman there and roman takes the belt from him but i don't know i just see kofi holding on to this for a long time and i don't really have no clue who beats him and i think randy orton just goes off to the back and just waits to get called on as he normally does in this whole new role he has so now i'll move on to match number five and that'll be a submission match for the raw women's championship and we'll see becky lynch defend the title against Natalia. It's a hometown match. It's not good news for Natalia. I think she taps out to this armor here and Becky retains the Raw Women's Championship. With Becky being announced being co-cover stars of Roman Reigns this week for the WWE 2K video game, I think Becky holds on to the belt for a long enough time to where after that game she'll finally lose. Maybe like a month or two after the game comes out she'll lose the title. And I just don't think Natalia would be the person to beat Becky anyway even if she wasn't on this cover or anything. The only way I could see Becky potentially losing here is if this crazy rumor that people like coming up with that Ronda's coming back happens and then Becky gets distracted and Natalya wins that way. I don't see that happening. I think Becky wins. Natalya goes back to where she was, maybe gets one more crack at it on TV, and then Becky moves on to her next feud. So now on to match number six. We are past halfway. And this will be my pick for quickest match of the evening, and that'll be Goldberg taking on Dolph Ziggler. This one's pretty simple. Ding, ding. Spear, jackhammer. Goldberg wins, and we forget about the Saudi Arabia match where he looked like he was just had a soul snatched and he was concussed. And then Dolph Ziggler complains about it on a Monday, takes on the Miz, probably gets the win there, so he kind of doesn't look too bad, and then maybe he'll get his Shawn Michaels feud and then take on him in January at the Royal Rumble. And Goldberg will just fade off into the sunset, and then we'll wait on him to be called up again to take on someone else and do five minutes. Maybe him and Matt Riddle finally come to blows, but I probably don't think that'll happen. So now on to match number seven. And this will be for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, and we'll see Drew Gulak defending the title against Only Lorcan. I see this being one of the top three 
three matches, maybe top four matches on this show. And going back and forth, and it looks like Lorcan almost has Gulak, and Gulak retains the Cruiserweight Championship here. I could see this whole Gulak and Lorcan thing going on for a long time, and it could probably be one of the longer feuds, and maybe they'll get multiple pay-per-view matches out of this Cruiserweight Championship feud. And maybe in two, three months, this will end with Lorcan holding that purple title up at the end of the feud. But in this first installment of Gulak vs. Lorcan for the Cruiserweight Championship, I think Drew Gulak retains the title. So now on to match number 8. And this will see Kevin Owens taking on Shane McMahon where if Kevin Owens loses, he will quit WWE. I think this match is going to be really good because I have firm belief that Kevin Owens can do great things with pretty much anyone on a pay-per-view. Even with Shane McMahon and his wonky ass looking punches, I think Owens can have a great match here with Shane. And I think Kevin Owens does get the win here and stays in the WWE. I can see Shane trying to pull out all the stops. I feel like this match is missing a stipulation like false count anywhere or something but then they could have Shane have a screwy finish and beat Owens and Owens disappears for like two or three months and then Triple H brings him back. You know, he can start another feud where Triple H had with Owens was Triple H's guy and he's going after Shane and then Shane and Triple H split off a feud. Maybe the Mania match who knows where that's gonna go and who knows the way WWE is Vince could say this match looks stupid and rip it up and then make a stipulation to get added on and Owens knowing that the stipulation could be heading hit, you know, him to get him screwed out of a win here make him quit to where uh, Drew McIntyre and Elias and maybe someone else will come out to help Shane. Maybe get some shocking guys to make this system here and help him out and then he starts a whole new group but I don't think that's gonna happen. I just think Owens beats Shane and we move on to the next and Shane maybe disappears for like a month or until uh, the Fox thing starts in October. So now on to match number nine the co-main event of the evening. And this match will feature Trish Stratus taking on Charlotte Flair. With Trish coming out of retirement I see her losing in Canada. They have had their Canadian win with Owens beating Shane. Natalia lost but no one really cared about that. But I see Charlotte beating Trish Stratus here and then just going on saying I've beat these legends in the past. I'm the queen of all eras. I'm going to take everything. Where she probably goes after Bailey at one of the next maybe Survivor Series or she leads this smack. I don't even know how Survivor Series is going to work this year. She could maybe captain the Survivor Series Smackdown team but does that really make sense with this wild card rule thing we got going here? And then Charlotte reignites her feud with Bailey to go after the Smackdown Women's Championship around January or even that could be the head problem going to be but later down the road after Charlotte beats Trish Stratus here and then Trish just vanishes like all legends unless they bring her back for Monday where she has this a nonsensical tag match to get her last win and then she goes out on a high note so now on to match number 10 the main event of the evening and that'll be for the Universal Championship and we'll see Brock Lesnar defending the title against Seth Rollins going into this match I thought this would just be a quick thing where Rollins gets the title back it was only a month off of him but there's just something missing with Seth Rollins right now he he just seems like he lost something, and I don't know what it is. And I think Brock Lesnar will take him to Suplex City and pin him 1, 2, 3, and retain the Universal Championship. And after this match, Brock will go off and vanish for 2, 3 months and come back when he's needed at one of the bigger pay-per-views. And I think Rollins just starts this whole, I lost my way thing and try to figure out what he screwed up on and tries to get back to what he was heading into Mania when everyone was behind him. It just seems like ever since him and Becky got together on TV and did that, it just seems like Something's just been amiss with him, and I, I don't know how to fix it. I would like to see Universal Champion every week. He doesn't have to have a match. He can just cut a promo, but we know Brock just vanishes, so that doesn't fit it. And just Rollins just seems amiss. And I feel like he could turn heel or maybe get this more edgy person here where he's going after both sides, where he'll go after, like, McIntyre, or maybe he goes and faces Roman, or maybe he switches to SmackDown with the whole uh, wild card rule if they're still keeping that going. He goes after Kofi. Maybe him and Orton reignite their feud from uh, WrestleMania 31. And try pulling one of those great RKO stomp motions again. Just, uh, they gotta find a way to fix Seth Rollins and uh, people are getting paid to do that and I have no idea how to. So Brock Lesnar will keep the Universal Championship here at SummerSlam in his new home country I guess since he lives there now in Canada. So that'll do it for my 2019 edition of SummerSlam predictions. Leave your predictions in the comment section below and if you like the video hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel and want to see more hit the subscribe button and watch the video that will be coming out after this for uh, the NXT TakeOver Toronto predictions. And as always, thanks for watching.